Guys, on the 11th of November 2020 in Chivu, Zimbabwe, this 29-year-old woman by name Emilda Marazani slit the throats of her four children and proceeded to drink rat poison to kill herself simply because her husband, whom she had been married to, Mr. Lamek Brandy, wanted to divorce her and marry his mistress. And now guys, if you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment and share. I would like to get your thoughts of what you think down at the comment section. Please guys, do not forget to subscribe. By that, we can get up to a thousand subscriptions and do not forget to like so that this video can go viral. Thank you for understanding. Let's get into it. Emilda Marazani was born into an impoverished life. She lived through her early childhood years in poverty. Around grade 5, her parents separated from each other, so she lived her life from one home to another. At times, her mother would send her to go live with her aunts because she never really had money to properly take good care of her. At times, her aunts would send her to go live with her grandmother. At times, her grandmother would send her to go live with her uncle. So she lived her early childhood years, you know, from one family member's house to another, looking for peace, looking for love, looking for tranquility, looking for acceptance. While she was living in her grandmother's place, there was no money to send her to school, so she dropped out of school around grade 7 and started selling fried fish and chicken on her head for her grandmother so that she can use the income which comes from the little hawker business which she does, that is selling fried fish and chicken, to help give her three square meals every single day. She lived her life that way in poverty up to when she turned 20, where she met her husband, Mr. Lamek Brand. In November 2020, when this incident happened, he was 43 years of age and Emilda Marizani was 29 years of age. Mr. Lamek Brand was from a very poor family to just as Emilda Marizani, but their poverty couldn't touch the love which they had for each other. They lived a happy life despite the fact that it was very hard for them to even have three square meals a day and to pay the house rent where they were living. So it was crazy and so hard for them. And during their nine years of poverty in marriage, she gave birth to four girls. And their names are Amanda, nine years old, Yolanda, five years old, Ayanda, three years old, and Glenda, seven years old. In the later nine years of their marriage, Mr. Lamek Brand started amassing so much wealth. Up to the extent he opened a supermarket for his wife, Emilda Marazani, to start selling stuff so that she could bring income to the house. So that they can use this money to raise their family proper. They were blessed with so much wealth up to the extent they built their own house. So guys, this is the house. Still, during the later part of their nine years of marriage, Mr. Lame Brown was so wealthy. So he started messing up on his wife. He started cheating on his wife. He started going out, getting mistresses, having sex with mistresses, and doing all sorts of things. And that is when their marriage went left. Like, it went left from there. Emilia Marazani would call his attention that what he's doing is so wrong. Like... We all started in poverty and together we've worked so hard and we've gotten up to the extent where there's so much wealth coming in. And now you're acting like a big boy. You go out and have mistresses, have sex and come home at night. And when I want to talk about your bad behaviors, you put your hands on me and beat me. I'm sick and tired of this. And guys, this cheating and physical abuse wasn't an isolated incident. It was in frequent occurrence all the time. He will always put his hands on her. Each time she called his attention on cheating on her each time she calls his attention on coming home at night he will always put his hands on her so it was too much physical and verbal and cheating abuse on emilda marazani by her husband and this just goes far to show that you know if you want to know if your husband truly loves you if you want to know if your husband you know values you as his as his wife you know forever and ever till death do them do you guys part it's when your husband is wealthy. When your husband, your husband is wealthy, that is when you know if the man truly, truly loves you. Because if he is wealthy, he gains wealth, and he's still faithful to you, and he does not put his hands on you, you know, that man truly, truly loves you, you know, when he met you in poverty, when you met him in poverty. Now, if you met him in poverty, like in this case, and now when he, he starts amassing wealth, he starts putting his hands on you, it's obvious this man never really cared. This man married you because, you know, you were the only woman at that time who could accept him for who he is. And he had no choice but to settle for, for you, you know. Now that he has gotten so much wealth, he's showing his true colors of who he truly, truly is. It got to an extent where the beatings which Mr. Lamek Brand used to meet on Emilda Marazani. Remember, Mr. Lamek Brand is 43 years old and Emilda, Emilda Marazani was just 29 years old at the time. And both of them, there is a, an age difference of 14 years. Of 14 years. So 
This man never saw this woman as his equal. He saw this woman as his child. He saw this woman as his child, and that's crazy. So the beatings which he made on her were so frequent, which it wasn't just within the premises of their house, you know. Neighbors have to listen to him beating his wife and always come to their aid to help separate them. It's crazy. Up to the extent, 29-year-old Emil Damarazani took the matter to her mother and her father-in-law and discussed with them that this is what is going on in their marriage. Her mother-in-law and father-in-law told her that he has decided that he's going to take a second wife or divorce her and get married. Not just take a second wife. It was like he's going to divorce her and get married to another woman. And it was certain. So she came home back home with her husband after, you know, after the little family retreat which they went to, which she reported her husband to her father-in-law to try to fix the issues. She came back home and they both slept in the house. Now, in the morning, she woke up from bed and went her way to go buy rat poison without telling her husband. Her husband woke up from bed and went to his job site to carry on walking. She went and bought rat poison and according to what was going on in her mind, according to her confession in, in court, she said in her mind she had been through so much and there is no way a man whom she met when he was poor and the man met her when she was poor and they both came together and worked so hard and built an empire. There is no way he is going to let this man, you know, marry another woman, divorce her and marry another woman. There is no way. Is going to let this man do this so she was so pissed and there's and she said there is no way that this man is going to take her four daughters away from her and let stepmother raise them because that was what was going through her mind but that's no excuse to poison your four children and go further to slit their throats like that's no excuse that's no excuse that's no excuse like that's crazy was already a donkey that Mr. Lamek Brand was going to marry another woman. So she was so pissed, she was, she was distraughted. So she took that poison and she came home and she called her children to come forward and she said there is, she spoke in her heart that there is no way she's going to let that mistress of Mr. Lamek Brand be the stepmother of her children. So she's going to kill herself and kill her children. That is crazy. That is wild. So she gave the children, she put the rat poison in water and gave them all to drink. And she herself drank too. And she told them to sleep. They all obeyed their mother and continued sleeping. While her husband had already gone to work. Her neighbors were, you know, doing their household chores. They never really, you know, it never crossed their mind that, you know, the fighting which this woman was going through or the beatings which this woman was going through by her husband, you know, had gotten up to the extent which it has led her to a state of psychological trauma of which she wants to kill herself and she never really opened up to her neighbors that this is what is going on her husband wants to really divorce her and get married to another woman so it's crazy so why her neighbors were there doing their household chores they didn't know that she had given her four daughters rat poison and she herself had drunk of the rat poison so she started sleeping and they too were sleep as they were sleeping she realized that you know they were not dying it was hard they were finding it hard to die you know not really dying they were just sleeping and she her breath was already started you know started seizing from her she she started seeing herself dying so she said oh and she said oh i cannot die and my children after giving them this fried rat poison they might be saved so let me take a knife and slit their throats there is no way that mistress is going to be their stepmother there is no way that mistress is going to be their stepmother so she took a knife and she slit the throats of her four children as she being the killer herself, she couldn't kill herself. So she decided to pour petrol throughout the house, within the house, and went ahead, take a match, and lit the house on fire and stayed there to get herself to die. But never saw the fire coming out of the house. They rushed over and came and asked her what is going on. And she said no. She said no that the pot which she put on fire wanted to cause a big ablaze in the house. So she just extinguished the fire. That's why smoke is coming out. Of her windows and, at, and the doors of her house and they never really the neighbors really cared they didn't care to ask her about the whereabouts of her children like where are your children so the neighbors went back to their various houses and by the time they realized the whole entire house of Emilda Marazani was on, on fire so they ran and came to Emilda Marazani's house and tried to set up the fire and they were pouring water pouring sand 
on the fire and struggled, entered inside the house and pulled her out of the house and pulled out two of the dead body of her children. The other two were burned beyond recognition. So this is crazy. Then Emil de Marazani went straight away directly to the police and reported herself that she had killed four of her children and she would die very soon because she had just drank poison and she wanted to set herself to on fire. And it's crazy, guys. So guys, this is the news article of this crime story. So do not come at me saying, I fake this, this is all fake, because this isn't fake. This is the news article. You can go research it on Google. And yes, you can go research it on Google. Let's carry on. So 43-year-old Mr. Lamek Brown, Emilia Marazani's husband, came home and made his entire house, which he and his wife built, you know, in flames, all burned down, and four of his children are dead. And Emilia Marazani was in hospital receiving, receiving treatment to avoid the rat poison which she drank so that her life could be safe and she can go to court to testify. So this crime story shook the entire Zimbabwe, guys. So guys, what do you all think? Should Emilia Marazani receive the death penalty or should she receive life imprisonment? What do you all think? Or is it a case of, you know, mental breakdown and she needs psychological help? She should, she should be locked in a psychological uh, help facility prison where she should be taken care of, you know. So, because it's crazy. It's crazy. Now, this is what I've been saying and I'll keep on saying again. Domestic violence is, is an issue. We all as men and women should take it seriously it's an issue now a man can put a woman in a situation where then constantly beating her up to the extent she just gave up in life she's like you know like what is there again to live for let me just take my life my problem here is she shouldn't have taken the life of her four innocent children instead if the man had wronged her you know since as the man was beating her profile on, on a daily basis and it was on a daily occurrence you know, when he returns home, you know, back from his mistress place, drinking, you know, come back around 12, you know, 12 o'clock at night. And this man who put his hands on her, you know, she should have killed the man instead. She should have just killed the man. If she had killed the man, she would have stayed with the man's, the, how, the house and the man's wealth and all the man's money which he has in his bank account. She should have, she would have stayed with everything. She wouldn't, she wouldn't have lose everything. Guys, I'm sorry that I am. Um, you know advising someone to kill her husband you know because if that's the case if they put between her if they ask you you know she should have killed her husband or should she, should she had have killed you know her daughters i would say her husband because her husband you know was the problem her husband was the problem in the marriage so i understand where she's coming from you know looking at the man who got married to her when she was 20 and this man it, is 14 years older than her together this man is from a very poor background and she's from a very poor, poor, poor background they work together so hard and wealth starts coming in and this man felt so big and you know he started going out you know dealing with mistresses here and there then came back home and when she wants to complain that stop cheating on me you know stop coming back home at this time 12 12 o'clock at night she, he puts his hands on her and beat her profoundly up to the extent you know she took the matter to her in-laws but her in-laws supported you know their son and instead said their son you know is going to marry another woman and he's going to divorce you so that's crazy that's a lot that's a lot for a woman who was born in poverty who was raised in poverty and who married a man who was poor and she was poor and together they built an empire and they became wealthy and the man started misbehaving you know that's a lot but the problem is she shouldn't have taken her anger of her husband treating her badly on her children because when she was killing her children she said she will never let her husband's mistress become the step mother of her four children so she was saying this that she will never let this happen if she wanted to kill herself she would have killed herself and you know forgo the lives of those four innocent children so it's so sad but I think the law will never find Mr. Lamek Brand, you know, Emilia Marazani's husband, guilty. This all started from him. He's the problem. 
you know if it were in my courtroom you know he is an accomplice he traumatized this woman up to the extent this woman had to kill her four children and drank rat poison and set their entire house on fire now i'm not justifying the fact that this woman did what she, this what this woman did is right but i'm just saying he is an accomplice and the mistress too is an accomplice coming into a solid married home with children involved wanting to destroy the marriage when you just met a man whom you know who was poor who married in poverty with his wife and you met the man who he has started making money and you wanted to steal the money away from his wife and from his children it's crazy to break their marriage home so the mistress too if it were in my law court the mistress who is an accomplice and i have to she ha she will have to do time because in some countries adultery is a criminal offense in cameroon adultery is misdemeanor you can spend close to three to five years imprisonment for committing adultery with a married man or a married woman for daring to destroy a matrimonial home you don't dare because to destroy a matrimonial home in cameroon now if husbands are cheating on their wives and the wives you know succeeded to, in getting the, the mistress's number she just have to call the mistress and warn the mistress that i will take you or drag you to the law court and most of them will apologize and say no 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 they're not gonna mess up with you know that wife's husband again but in some countries like in the united states i don't know about south africa or zimbabwe adultery isn't a criminal offense now the the state has to pass laws to protect you know holy matrimony to protect family because a good family if you have good families in the state you have a good nation because every citizen within a nation comes from a family now how these kids are being raised will affect how you know the crime and the social you know abuse or the hate crimes of that country would be you know if these kids are raised with love in a unified family where there is a husband and there is a, um, there is a mother and a father raised in love treated where you know these kids are gonna do well they're gonna it's 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 a proven you know it's a proven evidence they're gonna do well in the society because they were raised well very right with the right infrastructure that's a mother and a father now if there is divorce and these kids you know parents you know separated and father don't even come around or mother don't even come around you know it's gonna affect them psychologically and they can move on to be you know to be drug addicts prostitutes and all that so it's crazy so in my law court mr lamek brand and his mistress who spent due time in prison so guys what do you all think i'll let you get your thoughts down at the comment section of what you think about this true crime story because this true crime story shook the entire zimbabwe like to just wake up one morning and you hear that your neighbor you know uh, have you know poisoned her four children and slit their throats and set the entire house on fire and wanting to die so in that fire it's crazy right i'd like to get your thoughts down at the comment section guys do not forget to subscribe thank you